Tech Woos Day, bringing you all the news you need, almost on time. Number five, the Nexus One is great, mostly, but all gadgets get sick sometimes. So then you just call up customer support and ask for help. Easy as that. However, Google missed that memo about customer service when it comes to gadgets. Since the Nexus One is their first real product that you can get direct from Google, they never got around to setting up like a calling service or contact system for getting help with it. So far, all you can do is send an email and maybe get a response in a few days. Not the best source of help to rely on whenever your super phone isn't working and you can't make calls. Google promises that there will be some changes to make more reliable service available, but if you have the Nexus One and you can't make calls for extended periods, then just ask an AT&T customer for help. They will be able to advise you on what to do when you can't make calls at all. Number four, Netflix is taking a beating from the more powerful video masters, Warner Brothers. They were able to swing a deal with a DVD rental service to delay new DVD releases to rental for 28 days. Yes, they added some better movies for streaming, but this means that all those who don't stream are going to be out of luck for a month before they get to see new movies. This is a big plot to get people to keep buying DVDs instead of just renting them. Since Netflix is bullied so easily, expect others like Redbox to get similar restrictions, as well as other movie companies to try to get deals for delay to rental availability. So maybe it will cause more people to buy DVDs, or maybe it will just push more people to piracy. Good business plan. Number three, Halo Reach was debuted at the Spike Gaming Awards last month, and now there is a cover story in Game Informer to give us even more details on this epic prequel. The biggest draw is the next-gen graphics, which will make the Halo world seem much more detailed and alive using tweaks to the game engine and motion-captured cutscenes. It's another Master Chief less installment, instead of focusing on a whole squad of Spartans fighting on the doomed planet stronghold of Reach. Expect to see new weapons and classes, as well as a slightly different equipment system. Having five other Spartans with you isn't necessarily going to make this game a breeze. The Covenant also gets some new classes and guns, plus a stronger AI, and with the use of a faster game engine, bigger numbers, since there can be upwards of 50 combatants on the screen at once. Sadly, this may be the last Halo game Bungie makes. Guess they're running out of storylines. I can't really see how that happens since the first three Halos all kind of had the same storyline. Number two, Google kind of made up for its customer service failures by telling China where to put their censorship. I would have elaborated more on that last comment, but ironically, I was censored. They told China that censorship on Google.cn was going too far and they weren't going to do it anymore. They are dedicated to an open internet and they don't care if China shuts down Google completely. Apparently this battle between Google and China has gone on for a while as Chinese government hackers try to block Google content and Google's hackers try to counter hack them. Sounds kind of 24-ish. I really support Google for staying so committed to the open web for all. However, Google being big enough to get into a war with a second largest country in the world is a bit frightening. Number one. Techies help out Haiti. The recent earthquake that leveled major parts of Haiti has devastated the country, and millions have been donated to help. That goes for techies too. Microsoft and Google both have given over $1 million with promise to match any donations from employees. Dozens of other tech companies are also answering the call. And those gadget people at home can help out too. Apple has set up a donations page on the iTunes store to collect money, and the Red Cross has partnered with cell phone companies to allow for donations via text message. T-Mobile has also eliminated charges for calls to Haiti, and also got rid of any roaming charges in the country to allow people to call loved ones. Finally, techies that are down there in Haiti are working to get communications and power back to areas to allow rescue workers to get wounded and coordinate efforts better. There have been stories of TV station and call center IT guys setting up mobile broadcast trucks with scavenge equipment in the hours after the quake to go help organize rescues. No witty remarks for this one, just yay techies and keep supporting. That's all for this week. Check out Tech Tuesday on YouTube, youtube.com slash Tech Tuesday. I kept it simple. Another installment of Tech Woos Day is up next week because of yet another Monday off.